Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 12 noon in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York. It is a new year, a new decade, January 2nd, 2020, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We had very, very nice rises across the board in the financial markets with the Dow Jones Industrial Average moving to new territory and nice upside moves in the precious metals. That was all in line with a dollar that was much stronger. My opening letter attempts to explain the dynamics of what we're witnessing in the financial markets and my sense is to put it into a small sentence, it has to do with central bank easing globally. Let's take a look at our current pricing and then to our charts and we'll talk about our current trade. What a way to start the year, to start this new decade. 2020 has really begun with a bang, gold trading up about $8.50, currently at $1,531.60. That's a net increase of about six tenths of a percent. Of course, we are long from approximately 1507. We'll talk about that as we pull up our technical studies. Platinum up almost nine tenths at $986.10. Palladium gaining well over a percent, $1,930 after a 20 plus dollar rise. And lastly, silver back over $18 at 1807 and a half. And one of the most interesting facets of today is look at this dollar strength up almost a full half a percent, yet we had such a tremendous run in the precious metals. Lastly, of course, new record high closes in the Dow Jones Industrial Average after factoring in today's a 330 point gain at 28,868 and change. Let's take a look at our charts. As you can see, we certainly had a nice move above the first level that we were looking at that we needed to overcome, which of course was $1,520. That is really based upon a couple of things, mostly this top right here. You also had a series of activity right here in which we had the highs go into that level, but closing below that. So that became in terms of a strategic level that we wanted to see taken out. That was the first level that we had to, to really accomplish. Now, if you recall from last week's show, last year's last decade show, we talked about a scouting party because what we saw, and I'll go ahead and blow this chart up so you can see it a little bit better, but what we were talking about was the fact that the market had actually closed above that line, but we really went into this area with a exaggerated high and then came back down and that really is a scouting party that's where we're testing the fortitude of the bears and they certainly caved in today so the scouting party formed what is called a beachhead a beachhead is when you have an effective level that used to be resistance that is now a level of support and we can certainly say that 1520 and in this area is now a level of support so what are we looking at in terms of our next levels well first of all we do have a series of tops and those tops come in first here at 1540 we talked about that and what I believe is going to be real resistance if we get any and that's going to be about 1562 to 1565 that's based upon last year's record high that being said my recommendation is to maintain your current long position we are going to look to move our stops up this week and I'll tell you what I'm thinking about in terms of the area it, once we have a a stronger confirmation that 1520 is in fact support will look to move the stop and place it under this price point. And traders, lastly, I do want to change it up a little bit in terms of our trading style and methodology this year. Of course, we'll continue to do what we have been, which is to trade futures. But I'm also going to suggest that our subscribers take a portion, an allocated portion of their investment capital that they've been using to trade with or in gold and start to accumulate GLD is a really good bet that I would recommend, but into something like an EFT if it's not physical. But I want to start accumulating gold positions while we're trading futures. And in this way, if we get those highly volatile times, we'll always have that kind of 
in the back as a nest egg. We'll talk about that in detail through the remainder of this week, of course, which is only tomorrow, but especially next week. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.